friends, we are beginning a contest which will be one of the most historical in the story of our country. And I hope most sincerely that you are all to bear a noble part in the fight. Our country, in the course of its history, has had to meet many storms and many stresses, but it has always come out successfully by the courage and the determination of our people. We are going to do that again. The problem at the moment relates to the financial condition of our state. Why has it happened? Not because we are weak, because we are not. It has happened because on account of many economic causes, the trade of the world, the whole world, not merely ours, the trade of the whole world has come practically to a standstill. And nations like ours, depending not only on their internal market, but on their exports, have been specially hardly hit. The question you have to settle, and I have to try to settle, is whether the pound sterling is going to fluctuate so much from day to day that not one of you housewives, not one of you women who are responsible for the expenditure of your household income will know from week to week how much the pound is going to bring to you. The government desires to stabilize. And there are so many interests involved, so many questions that have to be settled in connection with that, that no party government, however well led and however nationalistically inclined, can solve as of no use to you, no use to the nation, no use to the world. My call to you is to stand sturdily together. We may have to ask you to go along a road that for a space at any rate is hard and is difficult. But the road of temporary sacrifice will lead to permanent prosperity. Some of us in order to perform that national duty, have had to risk everything that is near, uh, that is dear uh, to a public man. But believe me, none of us, in order to perform this national service, has departed from principle or has forfeited allegiance. We stand on all those subjects which divide the nation and hope to divide the nation in normal times, we stand as regards them where we have always stood. But today we have heard a call more supreme and more imperative than that. And I ask you to listen to the same call. The nation is in trouble. The nation is in difficulties. Not permanent trouble and not permanent difficulties. Temporary, purely temporary. And we must establish by our action here, and you must establish by the demonstration you are going to give on Tuesday the 27th of this month, we both must establish an international confidence in our rectitude, in our honesty, in our honor, and in our determination to put ourselves in a position that no country in the world can challenge. That's my purpose. And I ask you, therefore, at this election, to return a body of men of all parties, united in serving the national interest, and give them power to carry out the task they have placed before them to a successful end. <laughs>